Hi everyone, and welcome to the video series for Veeam Data Cloud for Microsoft 365. In this video, we'll be looking at the Settings tab, more specifically, the System section within that tab. Let's take a look at the video. So we're going to navigate to the Settings tab, and from this tab, we will navigate down to the System section. Now the first thing you'll see here is if you choose to set up Teams backups, we will click here and then click to the link that's provided. Now what this is going to showcase, it's going to tell you exactly the cost in order to backup Teams chats. And in order to do this, it's per message and it's also only for public Teams chats. So you'll be able to read and go through this section here. If you do have any other questions, please bring it up to your customer success team. But this will be the full guide on how to back up your Teams chats. So going to another section here within settings, you'll see reauthorize Veeam Data Cloud. So there are some instances where you may need to reauthorize the enterprise application. It's going to give you a couple options here. You can either rebuild the enterprise application or just strictly reauthorize it. So if we have any updates to permissions on the enterprise application for existing customers, you'll have to go in, click reauthorize, and then reauthorize the application with the new permissions on it. Next, we're going to navigate to access. Access is going to allow everyone in the company domain to restore their own OneDrive and Outlook. However, if you want, you could add IP ranges as a security protection. If you only wanted headquarters or maybe specific locations to be able to access the enterprise application, you would be able to input those ranges here. You can also add in a syslog server so if you had QRadar or Splunk and you wanted to give a login to that, you could do that here. Finally, we'll go into notifications. The most important thing to know here is that we provide you this email address, no reply, no dash reply at beamdatacloud.com. This needs to be whitelisted for all communications, including reports that we ran, and completed jobs, job statuses, maybe restore jobs that you're running as well. So we need to make sure that this is whitelisted again so that you receive those communications. If you have any more questions, please reach out to the customer success team at vdc.customersuccess at veeam.com. Thank you.